Eve, Eve, I think it is. So getting close, getting close. This morning's hot cocoa is in a mug that was also my grandfather's. Um, this one has Santa on the front and it's a Coca-Cola mug. Um, you know, one of those collectible things that you get every year or whatever. So, and the hot cocoa in it, okay, so I've been waiting for this since Halloween. So we, uh, when we go, you know, my son, Ricky, uh, he has his own channel, Fort Wilderness Ricky. And we go to the um, campgrounds all the time. And he always goes into the shop and gets to pick whatever he wants. And he's always very selective. He only picks one thing and he, he goes in and looks at every single thing in the store before he picks what he wants. And that's like every time he goes into the store or every trip, like there's going to be something new, which by the way, he will notice anything new in the house whatsoever. Anytime somebody comes home um, for something or he knows that somebody's been gone, he will open up all the cabinets and the refrigerators just to make sure that he's not missing something that might have been brought home, whether it was for him or not. Anyway, so uh, he wanted that hot cocoa tin. He thought there were probably was candy in this, probably what he thought. And, um, and my husband tried to explain to him um, that no, it, it's a hot cocoa mix and he wasn't having anything to do with it. So right there, he opened up the tin, he opened up the thing and he let Ricky in, try the dry hot cocoa mix. And uh, so needless to say, he wasn't concerned with the tin whatsoever at that point, but we had opened it and eaten it. So we went ahead and purchased it. So uh, we brought that home, and so I've been waiting to make it. It said it had hot cocoa with uh, marshmallows. Um, there were no instructions anywhere on the box. Uh, I don't know if it was a little piece of paper that was in there originally, uh, but it's just a tin with cocoa powder um, and little tiny marshmallows. And so I kind of just eyeballed it. I put two big heaping, tea heaping teaspoons into uh, eight ounces of milk. And let's give it a try. That's sweet. It's good though. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't know how you can have a bad, a bad hot cocoa. That hot cocoa from yesterday, that was pretty good. All right, so we talked about our cup, we talked about our cocoa. What's left? <gasps> One of the last two hugs out of the hug bucket. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, another fu uh, fun fact. Hugging is good medicine. It transferred energy and gives the person hugged an emotional lift. You need four hugs a day for survival. Eight for maintenance and 12 for growth. Scientists say that hugging is a form of communication because it can say things you don't have the words for. And the nicest thing about a hug is that you usually can't give one without getting one. Uh, now that's what I call a fair exchange. It's a win-win situation. So make sure to go give somebody a random hug today. Let's see what my little friend has to say. <laughs> Look, it's Fort Wilderness. Oh, I can. Ricky! <sighs> Ricky, we want to remind everyone to go out and give someone a random okay. hug. Hug. Today. Today. Thank you.